Androcles and the Lion. A long time ago, there was a man called Androcles. He was very poor, but he was kind. Androcles worked for a rich man named Brutus. Brutus lived in a big house outside the city of Rome. Brutus made his slaves work hard. Every day, Androcles scrubbed steps, mopped floors, made beds, cooked food, served meals, and washed pots. But Brutus never paid him. All Androcles got was one piece of dry bread a day. One day, Androcles decided to run away. He climbed through a window. Then he ran into the forest. Androcles had never been in the forest before. It was dark and spooky. Suddenly, he heard a loud noise from behind a bush. Rah! Androcles jumped. Who, who's there? He asked. He looked around the bush and saw. Ra, an enormous lion. Androcles ran, but the lion didn't run after Androcles. He sat there as still as stone. Androcles was surprised. He went back. Why didn't you chase me? He asked. I can't run, sniffed the lion. I can't even walk. There's a thorn in my paw. You poor thing," said Androcles. "Let me help." He gripped the thorn. This might hurt. Androcles pulled out the thorn as quickly as he could. "Ouch!" yelped the lion. "All done," said Androcles. "Thank you," cried the lion happily. I'm Leo. He smiled and gave Androcles a big sloppy lick. From then on, Androcles and Leo were best friends. They lived in a cave in the middle of the forest. They hunted for food every day, and each night they shared it. One morning, Androcles saw a stranger. He tiptoed closer. A soldier, he thought. What does he want? The soldier unrolled some paper. Androcles gasped. Just then, Androcles felt a bug on his nose. It tickled. A chew. Hey! cried the soldier. Stop right there. The soldier pulled out his sword. Androcles ran. The soldier chased Androcles between the bushes, up hills, down hills, across the stream, around trees, and out of the forest. Androcles got so tired he had to stop. The soldier threw Androcles into a cart. Are you taking me back to Brutus? Panted Androcles. No, boomed the soldier. You're going to Rome. Why? Asked Androcles. You'll see, the soldier said. Androcles had a bumpy ride to Rome. The city was crowded and noisy. He had never seen so many people. Then, he noticed a big round building. What's that? He asked. It's the arena, said the soldier. That's where you're going. What happens there? Asked Androcles. You'll see, the soldier said. A man called Clinkus pulled Androcles off the cart. 
He led Androcles into the arena past a cage of lions. They weren't as gentle as Leo. Why are they here? Androcles asked nervously. You'll see, said Clinkus. Androcles was locked in a prison with a man called Marco. What happens now? asked Androcles. We fight in the arena, said Marco. But I don't want to fight you, said Androcles. We don't fight each other, Marco sighed. We fight the lions. Androcles gulped. Everyone in Rome comes to watch, said Marco. Even the emperor. Our fights are tomorrow afternoon, he added. Androcles and Marco didn't get much sleep that night. The next afternoon, Clinkus dragged Androcles from the prison. He took him down a long, dark tunnel to a doorway. Clinkus pushed Androcles through the door. Androcles stood in the middle of the arena. Thousands of people sat around him. They gave a huge cheer. A gate opened in a side wall and an enormous lion charged out. Androcles trembled with fear. There was nowhere to run. Androcles closed his eyes. I hope it's over quickly, he thought. Then something strange happened. Androcles felt a lick on his hand. He opened his eyes to see Leo. I was caught last night, said Leo. They brought me here to fight. Androcles hugged his friend. The crowd couldn't believe it. Androcles has tamed the lion, they cried. What a hero! Clinkus took Androcles to the emperor. You are very brave, said the emperor. I think I'll set you free. Androcles thought of his friends. Please, will you free Marco and the lion too? The emperor smiled. Very well, he said. Androcles and his friends left Rome and started their own show. And no one had to fight.